Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah. I have a wonderful, exciting package to share with you guys. I did some shopping over on Instagram with Sarah from uh, Crafty Paper Bits. Uh, here's her business card. So Crafty Paper Bits on Instagram, her name's Sarah. Uh, I purchased some of the items from her. She has auctions. I'm not too sure how often she has them, but this is what I purchased from her and I'd love to share it with you guys. She did give me a freebie, a Happy New Year French postcard, which I'm super excited about. I love it. So let's just dive right into it and see what we have. She tied it up in this beautiful bow. It looks like a Christmas present, which I'm super happy about. So let's kind of take a peek at it. Oh, look at these girls. I'm so excited. And I needed the numbers. I have uh, the uh, initials, but not the numbers. So I needed, definitely needed to get those. Sorry for the crinkle. So let's see what we have. Okay. So first up, we have these beautiful number initials. I use these for slow stitch and for putting on my journal covers and throughout my journals as an embellishment. And I love the large numbers and the numbers that are spread out. And I only had initials, so I definitely needed these. So I scooped these up. I scooped this up. I was so excited about it. It has a monogram. It's some really old fabric like super vintage fabric. I believe it's some kind of hemp. It's a large piece. Yes, it's a very large, uh, I believe it's like a kitchen cloth of some sort, but it has initials on it and it's definitely a hemp material. So I'll be using this in my slow stitch as well as for my journal covers, for the spines, and it's super thick and very strong and durable for the journal spine and I love the the color and the texture of it. It looks very rustic. So I'm very excited about that. Let me put these here. Oh wow, look at this. So I got some very old vintage tickets that I'm going to be using as embellishments for my collaging. You should definitely check out her shop. It's on Instagram. I love these. I like to collage and make like mini cluster collages on my journals. So that's perfect for that. Oh, and here's some more. Sweet. I definitely, I never, or sorry, I didn't have any um, vintage tickets. So I definitely needed those. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, look at these. These are very old French lottery cards. They're like more like boards. So I can use these in my decor and I could possibly use them as like a journal cover maybe, or I could just stuff them in a pocket. I can scan these and use them in digital art. So I, I definitely wanted to scoop these up when I saw them. Super antique looking, I love them. I could even just display these on my wall. So I'm happy about those. Uh, let's look at this bundle of goodies. So I believe Sarah's located in France. Okay. So first up we have this gorgeous uh, cabinet card with these sweet little girls so cute they're French little French girls look at their outfits I love them they're so cute look at their hairstyles oh and the back super beautiful as well so I can scan these in and use them in my journal kits that I'm planning on doing digitally and I could also use this in the front of a journal so I'm excited about that. I also got this one. Oh, look at this. Wow, 
look at her dress. What is this? Okay, it looks like, um, this is 9th, July 9th. It looks like it was cut off from, maybe there was more to the picture, but I still love it. She looks so cool. I love the way she's dressed. Like you can see her shoes, the way the style of clothing is. It's so interesting. I love this picture. I also got this group of holy cards. These are authentic. Look at the, the beautiful like lithography of them. Wow. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, and this one has like a gold outline. Wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. I got some Victorian trade cards because I don't have any of these yet. Look at the beautiful colors. You can't even tell how old they are. Oh, wow. That's stunning. Oh, one sec. Sorry, I also got super hot. I got these beautiful French documents, 1933. I love how it says Fabric de Biscuits or something. Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Nineteen twenty-one. I love the stamps. I love just the way the writing is. Cannot wait to use this in my art. Cool. I love the the colors. I could definitely use this. Oh wow, look at this big pile of goodies. Oh my goodness. Oh first let's look at this. I was really excited about this. So this looks to be like cotton rag paper ledger and then it has the dry stamp. Yes, yeah, so it definitely feels like cotton rag paper. And look at from 1832, you guys, look at this. Wow. I love, love, love this. Especially since it's a rag paper. It's just gonna look and feel so much more textural in my journal. I cannot wait to use this. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. Oh, I can't wait to use this. It's so pretty. I love it. Liquidation, quiddance. Oh wow, I love it. This is from 1832. Okay, I'm really lucky that one came with the heading. So I can even I can like scan this in and use parts of this in like digital art as well. And then use the original in a journal or two. I could probably use this in maybe maybe four journals. I could um, put it in half and then put have two pages and two pages. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just to, you know, spread it out a bit. And she put it on this really cool board. Look at that. That's how she kept the paper all sturdy like that. And then I got all of these beautiful documents. Okay, what does this say? This is definitely rag paper. Oh, ooh, wow, look at this. It's like a, oh, it's a document that's typed out, but at the same time, there's handwriting on it. I love how there's that number there. And the color of the ink is blue. I love that. Oh, I love this. This is, oh, this is so beautiful. Look, you can see the indentation from the words. This is going to look so good in my art. 
in my journals just like the texture and the way it looks it's gonna add something special for sure okay what else oh look at this one you guys 1880 oh and they have the the dry emboss with the stamp look at that heading i love this and look at how delicate the writing is i love like having different types of writing because I, I do have like um manuscript documents like this but I bought like a super thick manuscript so it's all the same writing so I needed like different fonts to put in my journal so that it'll add like different elements wow okay let's see oh look at this you guys more diff oh more beautiful writing <gasps> like the purple stamp here look at that it's like of a woman's face 1920 oh, and look this is a different one those are two different stamps oh wow i love it it folds out like this let's look at that oh i love how like one of the pages right here isn't written on so when I put this in a journal, I could put it like this and then one side will be space for the person to journal and then on the other side, there will be writing on it. So it'll add interest as well. No, there's still spaces here. So, and then on this side, I'm gonna put it in a journal like this probably and have the stamp here or um, I could put it in this way, but if I put it in this way, then it's gonna look like this, which is okay. And then the other side will have the stamp. So uh, you'll you'll see how I use them. I'll take you along with me for the ride. And then there's this one, beautiful. Look at I love when they do the the numbers as well. That's a single page, and this is all laid paper. And I believe the first one is cotton rag paper. Ooh. Nice. 1901. Look at this one, you guys. 1882. Oh, I like when I can see the different style of the tax stamp. Look at the way they did the P there. Oh, I love it. This stuff just gets me so excited. <gasps> Look at their signatures. How oh, beautiful. Ooh, look at this one, it's blue. I wanted one that was blue. I didn't know this was blue. I'm happy, very, very happy that I have one. Awesome, I love how there's space here. Oh, I love this, yes. So I could easily put this in a journal and there's enough room for somebody to journal on it. Perfect. This one. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I'm doing a lot better. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Ooh, look at this writing. I love this writing. This looks like my mom's writing. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. I love the size too. They're so cute. Look at this one. Ooh, I can use that in digital art. The stamp. 1909. Oh, I love that. I love the look of that. It's gonna add so much to my journals. 1913. Cool. Ooh, this one, I believe this one's rag paper. Look at how cute that writing is. Like, can you imagine, like, if you are a collage artist and you needed something to collage on, like, this is perfect. So I'm thinking of making, like, an art journal book for, like, collage artist people, or just for people who like to um, collage. 
And it's going to have a bunch of authentic papers and then they can make collages on each page. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. And you know, a lot of us just like to have journals with these type of papers just to feel them, look at the texture, the writing. It's, it's just special. Wow, this is never ending. Look at this pile. Okay, 1884. Ooh, look at that texture of that paper. You can see it's laid paper. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. Okay, that's a double page. Oh, and there's stamps on this one too. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look at those stamps. You know, when I see stamps and stuff, I think of them differently now that I see how, like, Sam Pool and, like, Lorna Taylor from Taylor Made Journals, how they use, like, these kind of stamps and then they turn them into real stamps. I think that's super cool. And last but not least, ooh, I love the way this calligraphy and the way the pen, the ink of the pen, it's nice and dark. Right on 1897. Well, that is my beautiful haul for you guys. I'm going to share all the stunning documents with you. Um, if you guys are interested in possibly getting some beautiful old antique French ephemera like this, then please head on over to Sarah's shop. She's on Instagram. Uh, let me just grab the card one more time. Uh, again, it is Crafty Paper Bits. And, oh, that kind of ripped off. But yeah, her name is Sarah, and you can find her on Instagram, Crafty paper bits. I'll leave the uh, title of her shop in the description. And yeah, so what do you guys think of my wonderful haul? Let me know what you guys think. And I um, hope you guys are doing very well. And I cannot wait to use some of these goodies in a journal with you and uh, show you how I plan on using them. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Hugs. Um, thank you so much. Bye.